Hey everyone, welcome to the results video of round 33 of my multiplayer server. Now in this round everybody had to build uh, in a cyberpunk theme. Um, as you can see um, all, these, uh, all these plots have really crazy colors. That's because I messed with the palette of this round. So um, as you can see here um, we have some really uh, bright uh, greens with a bluish tint. Uh, some of the colors have been swapped um, So the blue is the green is now actually blue. So that's why the grass also has a blue color The trees are uh, bluish as well and the water has some weird uh, purple uh, color um, also the Most of the colors have been made a bit darker and the purple and pink colors have been made a little bit brighter Anyway, um we have 10 finished entries in this round, um, or, or well, most of them are sort of finished, um, with, with some of the top uh, entries getting an incredibly high score. Um, I would just go uh, through all the plots, starting with the one that got uh, 10th place and finishing with the winner of this round. Right in 10th place, we have this plot made by uh, Yaron. Um, well, he usually makes his plots in a really uh, short time. But uh, here, um, I think he didn't have time in the end to, to finish it. So yeah, this is sort of uh, um, unfinished. Alright, in ninth place we have this plot made by Pepito, a new uh, player on my uh, server. Um, sadly, he didn't have, he, he started quite late. Uh, he didn't have time to finish his uh, entry. Also, there were some connection issues. It's a shame because uh, what he made here already was uh, really promising. So yeah, he got uh, the score he got. I think it's uh, quite high for uh, what he uh, for the amount of the plot that's that's covered. But yeah, sad that he didn't finish it because it looks uh, really promising. All right, in eighth place we have this uh, entry made by Edgeman. Um, oh yeah, I don't really know if this uh, is the. Well, if this is really according to the cyberpunk team, um, the coaster is kind of nice. Um, there's also some weird uh, spinning wild mouse uh, flying around called <laughs> Oh Shoot, I read. So yeah, I don't think this uh, plot was very, uh, very serious. Uh, it's a bit of a building here. But yeah, this, this just could have used a lot more, uh, a lot more detail. The ride's called H-Man Shooting Stars. Um, I think it's based off a song. Oh well, um, I hope to see something better from H-Man in the next round. Okay, here we have the entry from C. Wook. Uh, apparently, according to him, that's how I should pronounce his name. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do really like the team or the mood that he is uh, setting here. So yeah, unlike all the other players, he actually went with some red rocks. Also with some of the Goliath characters uh, used as rocks here. I think that's uh, pretty clever. Um, but yeah, um, sadly this coaster is a bit uh, unfinished. Um, so I don't really know what he would be uh, going for. I do really like this uh, building that he made here. It looks quite nice. Also these buildings here, they look uh, really good. So yeah, sad that he couldn't uh, finish it. Also, it's quite glitchy here. That's also a shame. All right, here in sixth place, we have this entry made by the Didi Robbie. Um, so he made some uh, crazy buildings here. With uh, this one has a go kart inside. Um, this one this has the start of the roller coaster. Um, gets a launched coaster. Yeah, it gets launched out of here. Goes through some inversions. Um, then here, there's this uh, spike with a weird uh, shape, it's like a scorpion uh, tail. And then it does the same track uh, backwards. So yeah, this coaster is uh, is pretty cool. Um, yeah, other than that, I think the plot's a bit uh, sparsely uh, covered with uh, with things. Um, also, there's this uh, steam train flying above the track for some reason. I don't really know why, but I'm not sure if a steam train really fits in the cyberpunk theme. Alright, here in 5th place we have this 
entry made by Popsicle Penguin. Um, again, uh, it's not completely finished, but the stuff that's here is really good. Um, so there's here a uh, transportation system, or uh, it's this uh, modern monorail going around. I like how this steeple chase track is uh, used above the track to uh, serve as the probably the what do you call it? Oh well, yeah, just the power uh, the power line. There's also a really cool coaster going around the the plot here. Uh, it even has a <laughs> Skiffa loop, as, uh, as people like to call this uh, element. Uh, what I like most about this entry is this uh, big tower over here, uh, with the with the dome of the 3D uh, cinema on top, or 4D cinema. And I also like this uh, Virginia reels here inside this uh, building going around. It gives some uh, movement uh, on the on the plot. I really like the way that looks. So yeah, overall, uh, oh yeah, for the unfinished state of the plot, I think this is a really good uh, score. So yeah, a nice job from uh, Popsicle Penguin. Alright, and then we make a big jump in score. Uh, all the top four got a score of over a 9, which is uh, incredible. Uh, for this plot, I will use the cutaway view, uh, just so we can take a better look at it. So yeah, uh, Skiffa made this uh, city all in the cyberpunk team. Um, in my opinion, if the buildings were a little bit darker color, uh, I would have rated it a little bit higher. But still, this, uh, <laughs> all these buildings just look amazing. The buildings just have so uh, so much vertical... Uh, Why? Well, they're really high. But yeah, there's lots of layers uh, in the building and just lots of interesting stuff to look at. Um, you can see a little parking garage here with cars going around. I really like how we used the spiral track from the spiral roller coaster uh, as the track for these uh, cars to move up. Uh, you can see some buildings here with some uh, naughty <laughs> signs on top of them. Uh, signs saying girls. Uh, I don't know what's going on inside this building. Um, so, oh yeah, some monorail cars which people can uh, board from uh, from uh, this building. Uh, yeah, just really really cool uh, details all around. Uh, this building looks amazing. It even has a working uh, elevator here. Um, and what I probably like most is here this uh, this Skiffa's robot wars. So yeah, it's uh, flying saucers uh, right here in this arena with uh, these, uh, I think it's splash boats, uh, lift hill used as, uh, as uh, bleachers for the for the crowds. But yeah, this is just uh, an incredible uh, idea. Um, yeah, just really nice decorations all around. Here's a bit of an Asian uh, part of the town. Um, also, I really like how he put this... Uh, this uh, What's it called? I think it's from the Marchant teaming. Yeah, the Marchant building right inside the building here. But yeah, just uh, really awesome decorations all around. A really cool uh, usage of the team. So once again, a great creation from uh, Skiffa. Alright, in third place we have this uh, plot made by uh, Susbucket. And <laughs> damn, this is also uh, amazing work. The, making all these buildings must have taken the ages. Um, it's a bit too colorful in my opinion for a cyberpunk team, but uh, it's, still, it's still an amazing uh, scene nonetheless. I mean, just look at all these crazy details here in the, in the buildings. Uh, so many uh, different layers and so much uh, interesting uh, stuff. So yeah, making nice looking buildings in uh, Rollercoast Tycoon can be pretty tough. But uh, yeah, you just have to make, do your best to make them look uh, interesting. Uh, try to break up uh, patterns and uh, also try to uh, have, have some movement on your plot. So you can see that with the ferris wheels here. Uh, lots of cog wheels on fire, uh, just lots of uh, movement here. 
There's interesting track texture all around. You can see some bridges here between the buildings made with this hardline twister uh, track. Um, there's lots of signs on the on the plot. Also, there's a coaster going around here, also with some interesting track texture for the supports. There's just so much interesting stuff uh, to look at here. By the way, if you want to look at this map for yourself, uh, if you're a member on my Discord, you can simply get it from the multiplayer archive. There you can also download all the maps from past multiplayer rounds. Also a jet plane here parked on the roof. A bit of a short uh, runway, but uh, I guess it's a Harrier or something. <laughs> Alright, uh, amazing work once again from uh, Suspicat. Okay, here we have uh, one of my favorites from the round. Uh, this plot was made by Anda23. Uh, let's quickly use the cutaway view here again. And man, I think these are some of the most incredible buildings uh, that I've seen in this game. And they work especially well uh, in this uh, team. Uh, I just love all the traffic going around here. There's just a lot of traffic here going underground. And I think th this is uh, wonderfully uh, decorated. I love this pattern that's made here with all these uh, coaster pieces. I think it's a steeplechase trick, but I'm not even sure. Oh yeah, steeplechase. It's a really cool uh, pattern here with the bright colored uh, cars or trains under them. That looks uh, really sweet. Um, there's also trains going around this uh, through this uh, building here. And there's also a, a coaster that uh, travels here through the through the plot. And these buildings, uh, they all just look amazing. Just look at the amount of uh, track texture here and all the decorations. Um, yeah, this is just amazing work and a well-deserved uh, second place for this round. Everything here just looks uh, amazing. I really recommend uh, you to uh, download this map and. Uh, Give the gift uh, plot a quick look. Also, I really like the cog wheels here. Uh, that's a that's a really nice work. All right, and here we have the winner of this round. Uh, once again, Mackett made uh, made an awesome uh, plot. Uh, I think this score is really uh, one of the highest we have ever had on this uh, on my multiplayer server. But, uh, I think it was over nine and a half, which is just insane. Uh, this plot got really high scores uh, all around. Um, these buildings just look amazing. Uh, oh, another jet plane parked on the roof. Uh, just really cool uh, um, yeah, advertisement banners also with the octopus here on, uh, on top. Uh, also these geometric sculptures are used in a great way here for the advertisements. Uh, Really nice buildings, also with uh, cool uh, banners on the side. And what I like most is probably this train system. So yeah, I really like the look of these uh, rails, also with the power lines uh, above them. Um, so yeah, lots of uh, cars parked here and cars going around. Uh, I also like how this uh, goo is used here. Uh, yeah, there's just uh, so many uh, awesome details here. This is uh, really nicely done. It's a nice building entrance here with the glass. Uh, what's it called? The geometric sculptures. <laughs> uh, nice roof uh, details. Um, yeah, what uh, what can I say? This is just uh, amazing work. So yeah, um, the round uh, had a little bit too many unfinished plots for my liking. Uh, I did extend it for a uh, for a week, but uh, the theme was just was quite difficult. It's quite uh, building heavy, so it was not around for everyone. But uh, I must say that the top four of this round uh, were just uh, amazing to look at, and they all got a score of over nine, which is uh, incredible. So yeah, um, just amazing work here once again. Um, we'll be back in a few days with a new multiplayer round. I hope to see more uh, people join. Uh, I'll probably make the team a little bit more easy to, uh, to work with. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to join any of these rounds, just uh, become a member on my Discord uh, server. And 
if you are active for a while then you become a trusted member and then you can join any of these uh, rounds as long as there's uh, any space left all right i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you again in the next one see you later